it's becoming a bit of a tradition to record my blog at Christmas in my Santa hat and this year I've even got quite a nice little link to the topic that I want to discuss. So, at the end of the last academic year, I did some school with some work with a school looking to improve the literacy skills in their students. And as part of it, I went around shadowing a class for a couple of days. And you know what really stood out to me beyond any of the literacy based analysis was just how many hats students are having to wear. For a start, they have to be the auditory learner, listening to the information and instructions from their teachers. They have to be the visual learner, taking in information from diagrams, textbooks and videos. They have to be the kinesthetic learner, carrying out science experiments, sports skills or creating a drama sketch. They also have to be the investigator, the team member, the independent worker, the writer, the creative one, the number board, <laughs> not to mention the friend and the social circle tactician, <laughs> which I'm sure is an exhausting job in itself for teenagers these days. And although I know no one wants to think about it yet, they're going to have to get all those hats ready and be very soon wearing them all again, swapping and changing, often every hour at least through the school days. Hats, see, get it? I told you I'd get that link in there somewhere. <laughs> but there really is a lot going on there. So it's no wonder that things can start to feel a little daunting when the new year rolls around. Having not worn any of those hats for the past six or seven weeks, it's natural to be feeling a little anxious and nervous. And so it's more important than ever for students to figure out this whole working smarter, not harder thing. It's not actually a phrase that I love because it is just that, it's just a phrase. I'm much more about the actions, the precise strategies and techniques that actually result in that smarter work, the tips and tricks that students need in their tool belt to make sure that they know which hat to put on when and even how to wear it, <laughs> to know exactly how to tackle each task in the most effective way and have the skills and templates to do it. So I'm Katie Price, great transformation expert, and I know I certainly remember those back to school feelings. And if you do too, scroll down, leave me a comment. What words would you use to describe that Sunday night before school kind of feeling? I'm looking forward to sharing with you plenty more hints, tips and ideas on how you can help your team get happy, smart and successful next year and beyond. And until then, I want to wish you and your family and your team a very Merry Christmas and a really fun and very safe holiday for you and your family.